Hey everyone, this is Brandon from Top 10 Gamer again, coming today at you with a look at an exclusive games list, upcoming titles for the Xbox One, PS4, and Wii U, as well as titles that each one of these consoles has right now. As I mentioned in one of my previous videos, this might just be the last generation for consoles. Uh, I think the Steam OS is going to be even bigger than everyone thinks. Uh, we should have a good look at Valve's uh, Steam box uh, here at CES Las Vegas here shortly, so we'll get a little bit of a look into that but I think that will uh, actually increase PC gaming once that comes out uh, as you know I'm really into PC gaming but uh, I think consoles are pretty important too uh, when they have exclusive games and exclusive ways to play they really get to be fun so here is my thoughts on each of the three main consoles as well as their games Okay, so let's quickly get into the Wii U. Uh, just a few things about the Wii U. I actually own the Wii U. We got one for Christmas this year with a bunch of games. And the reason I did that is because I have kids and it's very family friendly. Now, you don't go into purchasing a Wii U thinking, hey, this is my, alterna my alternative to purchasing and building a gaming PC. That's not what you do. If you want to do that, you'll probably go with a PS4. But uh, what the Wii U does it does really well you know it's got a tablet it's got exclusive Mario games uh, it originally came with Super Mario U which was a pretty okay game a lot like Super Mario from the the, the regular Wii um, in terms of how it's played but uh, they recently came out with 3D World which I purchased this year absolutely fantastic game highly recommend it uh, a really creative way to play Mario in 3D and everything just seems to be brand new uh, as well as many games that they incorporate into the game itself. Other fantastic things about the Wii U is that we're going to get an original Zelda coming up. They redid Wind Waker uh, which which I have as well and I'm, I haven't beat yet but is, it's currently one of my, my favorite games to play. Uh, they're also going to have Mario Kart 8 and other great games, uh, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze coming up as well. So if you like consoles, if you're looking something for fam that's family friendly, it's great. What it's not good at is playing uh, PC titles. Uh, the Wii U does isn't even going to get uh, a sports titles like uh, Madden 25. Uh, my son was actually pretty upset about that. Dad, how are we going to play Madden 25? I want to play Madden 25, but uh, or or FIFA 2014. So anyway, if if you understand the limitations that the Wii U has, and understand what it does do well, and appreciate it for that, then it's a it's a pretty fantastic console. Okay, again, I want to mention that you should go to my write up to check out uh, more of this entire list, where you can see pretty much every exclusive title that's not only coming out this year, but is also available for these three consoles. It's a good way to compare, but. Uh, just let's just briefly talk about the Xbox One. A few titles that are really important: Titanfall, which you can actually get on the PC, uh, is a game that at E3 showed really well, and I'm super stoked about playing. You can only play that on the Xbox One or the PC. You cannot play it on the PS4. Um, as far as other games, you've got Halo Spartan Assault. Of course, that's a Microsoft title, so that's going to be exclusive. If you're into Halo, if that's a big deal for you, then Again, Xbox One could uh, that might be a way a reason that uh, that you are turned towards the Xbox One. Uh, racing games, Forza Five is is a uh, is an Xbox One only only game. Now on PS4 they have a new one called Drive Club, but uh, Forza Five is a pretty storied uh, game title. So again, if you want that, that's only coming out on the Xbox One. Uh, other games include Rise Son of Rome and uh, Dead Rising 3, which are both action games for the Xbox One, as well as other titles that are on the list. Taking a look at the PS4, you've got, uh, for uh, first-person shooters, you've got Killzone Shadowfall. Uh, you, can, you can't play Titanfall, but you do have the Call of Duty Ghosts and Battlefield 4 also available on the Xbox One. The good thing about the PS4, though, is that it's only $400, and it plays everything in 1080p. The hardware is slightly better than the Xbox One in terms of its performance. Now, if you're just looking for something as an alternative to the PC, that's where the PS4 really shines because it really gets uh, most of those top tier PC titles, uh, like I said, uh, coming up. So anyway, if, if that's what you're looking for, then the PS4 is a good option there, especially if you want something inexpensive that'll allow you to play a top tier title like Battlefield 4 that would otherwise uh, 
costs quite a bit on a PC to be able to play at a higher level. Okay, so let's take a look at the list and, and see a few games that are only available for the PS4 and Xbox One but aren't going to come out on the PC. You've got Madden 25, NBA 2K14, you've got Injustice Gods Among Us, going to be another great game, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, Tom Clancy's The Division, um, UFC, the UFC title there, The Crew is also another game that's only available on the Xbox One and PS4, and Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, those are the big titles that are only available on those two consoles. Now sometimes these titles are available on PC later, but again that's another reason to get a console for now, but I think again with Valve coming out with a Steam box here shortly with the Steam OS being a free operating system for people who want to put together an inexpensive home theater PC option. I really see PC gaming uh, climbing the ranks going forward. I don't know if console gaming is going to be eliminated entirely, but uh, it could take a big hit if you can put together a PC for for less money, be able to play online free, and have uh, less exclu exclusivity in terms of titles going forward. I guess we'll just have to wait and see for that. Okay, that's all I've got for today. Hopefully you guys have uh, been able to learn something, and if you're thinking about purchasing a console, maybe I've helped you make a decision. What do you think about uh, Steam the Steam OS? Is that going to have a big impact on consoles going forward? Uh, I'd love to know your thoughts, and you can leave them in the comment section below. You can also find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash top10gamer. And you can ask me any questions there as well as here. I don't get back as often on the comments on YouTube simply because sometimes there's too many to get back to. But if you go and you uh, like me on Facebook and check me out there, then you can ask me just about anything. Uh, I've been able to help out uh, already several hundred people that I've had questions from. So if you're one that has some questions, drop me a line and I'll get back to you ASAP. Okay, like and subscribe this video if you want to see more like it. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.